this is light ray let us take we can give one name also for this not required name light ray is coming so from one side light ray is coming okay this here okay now i am going to tell about the medium so this is n1 medium this is n2 medium okay n2 medium what is this this uh, total prism is made by dash glass do you know glass refractive index we don't know that's why we are taking n is equal to we don't know n so this outside of the prism what is there air is there already we know that refractive you might have studied in ninth class uh, uh, 10th class so refractive index of the air is the air is there outside what is there air is there here what is there glass is there so air refractive index let us take that is one so n two we don't know so here also how much may be there definitely same thing will be there here how much will be there n one is so here also air means that is also same thing only okay this is the prism okay now i consider one ray okay it is coming from this is uh, air means what we can say rarer medium rarer medium first medium this is second medium denser medium this is rarer medium r medium this is d medium r medium rarer medium okay ray started from the rarer medium it strike the or it touches the on the pq line or pq side i consider ray that is started from the rarer medium okay simply it is striking on pq side at which point okay you can consider any point let us take that is a m point actually it is supposed to go like this actually it has to go like this but it won't go like that why the medium is changing here air medium is there here glass medium is there. due to that it is traveling like this it is traveling then it is traveling inside the glass again it is striking on another side that is which side pr side at which point after m which one will come n will come then again actually it has to go like this it has to go like it has to go straight actually but it won't go again it is binding why again it is medium is changing here what is which medium is there glass medium is there outside which medium is there air medium is there due to that what happened again it is slightly bent and it is going like this it is going like this so always our mark should be there then only we can say this is the ray okay if you extend this ray back they will intersect at one point that we can say that we can take o point okay see if we, if these two are making some angle see all of you this is also this is incident ray this is refracted ray so if you extend back then they are intersecting at this point this ray and this ray also having some angle that angle we can take delta or dm minimum deviation how much changing happening this we are going to find that through the prism okay for this see now next one we have to find the we have to draw the normal lines how to draw normal line already i said how to draw normal line means any ray coming and going like this then at this point you have to draw the perpendicular line so this this ray is ending this ray is starting at this point you have to draw the perpendicular line okay this ray is ending this ray is starting where is the perpendicular line means we can draw like this this is the perpendicular line again this side also we can get the perpendicular line this line we are calling normal line this also we are calling normal line this is normal line this also normal line so this is the deviation deviation minimum deviation 
we can denote the delta r d m okay now see after that what i do what is this this is normal this is incident this is refraction this is incident angle this is reflection angle but if it is not coated then we can say that is the refraction angle so the angle between normal line and refracted ray so here angle between incident ray and normal line that we can say that is the i1 again here i2 is the inside inside how much is there this is r1 is there this is how much will be there where is that uh, this only r2 okay this is the this is about the diagram okay next now we have to derive our equation so here triangle is there here o m n from the figure from the figure triangle o m n so from the triangle o m m what i can write tell me delta tell me delta plus hmm, r1 plus r2 is equal to i1 plus i2 see these are all inside this is outside so r we can write d is equal to d m is equal what we can write r1 plus r2 is equal to i1 plus i2 okay only i want this value or what i can write dm is equal to i1 plus i2 minus r1 minus r2 next dm is equal to i1 plus i2 minus r1 plus r2 this is equation number one okay next i'm from the figure another triangle i'm considering from the figure triangle p m n so triangle p m n see at this point p is there m is there n is there at this point so then what happened tell me what is the first one a is there a you are coming from top angle a is there plus okay see what happened here this is 90 minus r why because it is deviating suppose let us take 90 degrees next 90 minus r1 means see r is equal to 1 means how much are getting 90 minus 1 is equal to how much are getting 89 see that why because you are you should not deviate that is the purpose you are considering 90 minus r1 